Is the way that you're sleeping causing wrinkles? Well, we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be discussing, talking about, deep diving into, does the way you sleep actually help cause wrinkles or make your skin look older? And I wanna say right up front, there are four new studies out just this year that talk about sleep deprivation and its negative impact on our health, and that includes our skin. So we're not just talking brain fog here. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 36 years, helping people find skincare that will work for them, not into their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. But today, we're gonna to be talking about how we impact our skin by the way we sleep, and I have some bad news. It has been proven over and over again that our sleep positions, and in fact, the most common ones that happen with almost all of us, do actually contribute over time to wrinkling of the face. But there is good news too, because there are some things you can do to combat that. The first thing you can do to combat that's gonna sound a little anti-intuitive, but I wanna start with it first here because it is so important, and that is trying to ensure that you get at least six hours of sleep per night. Now, not everybody can do that, and some people can actually get away with it. There is a short sleep gene, believe it or not, that some people have that allow them to function quite well on less sleep than most of us really need. Ideally, about seven to eight hours, but at least six. And this is why that's so important, because there is a sleep repair cycle that goes on in your body where collagen is built and repaired, where your skin cells are repaired. There's an autophagy process that happens where old senescent skin cells are removed from the body in that process. And if we're sleep deprived, over time, those processes that help repair our body and keep us healthy, they can lead to all sorts of health complications, including high blood pressure, muscle injury, and of course, as we all know, lack of clarity and brain fog something we all love to deal with, right? Now let's talk about those common ways most of us sleep. Most of us are tossers and turners, which is a very important function in our sleep mechanism because intuitively as we sleep, our body may need to change positions to improve circulation and comfort. Obviously, for those of us who've ever been in one position for too long, you know that leads to muscle soreness and stiffness. So there is a natural way that our body works with that. The problem is depending on how long we are in a certain position, especially if we sleep on our face or either side for long periods of time or all night long, and we have friction of our pillows and our bed sheets, it leads to a crushing effect on the skin, a pushing up, a bending and a wrinkling that while normally would fade during the day, in the morning hours as we go about our day, over time become etched in our skin. So it really is more about the habitual way your sleep position happens than the tossing and turning that we most all of us do. There's also the problem of supporting the neck between the head and the shoulder, which leads to that sagging jawline and wrinkles on the neck. So the best sleep position is on your back with your neck supported for as long as possible during the sleep cycle so that gravity pulls everything in an equal fashion and the vectors of your face don't have crushing and pushing and smushing happening for long periods of time. So your skin can actually take that for a little bit of time, but it's when we are habitual with it. We talk a lot about on the channel about static wrinkles and dynamic wrinkles and Dynamic wrinkles are the wrinkles that form when we smile, like the lines around our eyes, our forehead, and even smile lines are temporary, but over time they can be etched and become what we call static wrinkles. So dynamic wrinkles go away, static wrinkles do not. So we want to support our sleep process, and one of the best ways to do that is to look at what you're sleeping on. So for the neck area, something like a neck pillow that's placed behind the neck as you sleep and holds your head and neck in a comfortable straight position can be a great help to a lot of of folks and they're relatively inexpensive. Another thing to look at is the type of pillow that you sleep on. Now, I am a big proponent of sleep pillows because most sleep pillows are designed to help both support the neck and help you in that tossing and turning process. And the one that I use Two years now, two years, I believe this month, is the one by Sleep and Glow. It's Sleep and Glow Omnia Pillow. I've talked about this a million times on the channel. No, they are not sponsoring today's video, but this is the pillow I use. There are several brands out there, but the reason I like this one is it has these divots on each 
side so that when I'm on the left side, it's supporting my face without pushing up the skin. Right side, it's supporting my face without pushing up the skin. And it also has this lovely curved design that supports my neck no matter what. So this has been my go-to pillow for two years. And if you're interested in a deep dive into the pillow itself, I will provide a link for that video review and also a link for you to go to their website and check this out for yourself. But I will not go anywhere without this pillow. It's just amazing. It's very durable. Obviously two years old and it's still working just fine for me a really, really great addition to your beauty routine. Now let's talk about the type of material we're sleeping on because full out cotton sheets, while they can be comfortable, actually wick moisture away from the skin. So if you're sleeping on a regular pillow with a cotton pillowcase, not only are you getting the pushing and crunching and smushing, but you're also drying out your skin and it will wick away your skincare products. So most of us that have had cotton pillow cases in the past that use a lot of skincare products, notice that there's an oily spot from those products that happens on that pillowcase. That's it actually wicking away all of those great ingredients and moisture from your skin, dehydrating it, making it more susceptible, susceptible to wrinkles. Pillowcases are a much better option. They do not wick the skin. They also provide a very smooth surface that removes any type of friction. The great news about that Omnia pillow that I just showed you, this one right here, it has a silk pillowcase that you can get to come with it. So you can get both at the same time with these guys but silk pillowcases are very, very helpful. This is my other big pillow. It's in a silk pillowcase. And because I like to hold on to pillows when I sleep, so I have this just in case I put my face on this pillow instead of that one. But over time, I have really been able to train myself to mostly sleep on my back. But when I do those natural tosses and turns that my body wants to do, I have this Omnia pillow to help me make sure I'm not smushing up my face, causing more wrinkles than would be there otherwise. So I would submit to you, you might wanna consider trying to sleep on your back or at least training yourself to do it. It does take some time and some patience, but most people can get the hang of it after a while and also talking about helpful skin sleep aids like silk pillowcases or the Omnia pillow which again I will put a link down below in the video description box you can check all of that out and for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin and body aging be sure and check out this video that's coming up next thank you guys for watching and supporting my channel I appreciate you so much stay beautiful subscribe if you haven't and I will see you over on that next video